A few years ago, a friend from England came to visit us in Jerusalem. He was shocked. He said, I don't know how you live in this country. You're, you're living in, in the third world. It's dirty and dangerous. It's beyond my comprehension why someone with a decent standard of living would uproot himself and live in a slum. Why is it that some people see Eretz Israel as so beautiful, while others struggle to see its beauty and leave disappointed? There once was a beautiful princess who had many suitors for her hand in marriage. Obviously, she could marry only one of them, and so she devised a plan to select him. When a young man would come to woo her, her servants would usher this young man into an antechamber. On the table in front of him were some fruit, some books of Torah. The servants told the young man that the princess would be with him shortly, and they bade him make himself comfortable and to help himself to some fruit. What the suitor did not know was that there was a spy hole in the wall of the room. Through this, the princess would observe the aspiring groom. If he took a piece of fruit, made a blessing, a bracha, with the proper concentration, if he took up a Torah book and began to learn intently, then she would emerge in her finest apparel and appeared as a rare beauty. However, if the suitor picked up an apple and wolfed it down without a blessing, or he sat there and twiddled his thumbs, idling away his time, and didn't use the opportunity to learn Torah, then she would put on torn rags, blacken her face and teeth, and emerge looking like a hag. Eretz Israel is that princess. If a person comes to the land of Israel looking for spirituality, he will be enchanted even by the physical beauty of Eretz Israel. If a person is not worthy, everything will seem dirty and dingy, provincial. But Eretz Israel will never embarrass a person by rejecting him. Rather, she will allow him to think that he has rejected her.